Stardew Valley Expanded. I'm your host, Sarah Barra, and let's get started. So last time we left off, we were here. Um, it is Wednesday, and I can show you guys. It is Wednesday, my dude. I can show you that we have a rewind of Crane of Sauce, like I mentioned before. Welcome to Kozu 5, your number one source for weather, news, and entertainment. And now, the weather forecast for tomorrow. It's going to rain all day tomorrow. Interesting. Fortune teller. Ah, yes, I can hear the spirits whispering something to me. The spirits feel neutral today. The day is in your hands. Okay. Oops. And then the rewind. Greetings, it is I, Queen of Sauce, here to teach you a new mouth-watering recipe from my secret cookbook this week's dish, Stir Fry, which we already learned how to make. Now, what I meant by repeats was um, sometimes you'll get, like, the rerun will just be stir fry and then stir fry and then stir fry and then stir fry even though you've already learned stir fry like the first sunday and you've learned three other recipes by then so yeah it's kind of weird how it like does the rerun but it should be the rerun of last sunday sometimes it's not though look at that we got a puppy hello sarah you see this dog here found it sitting outside the entrance to your farm I think it's a stray poor thing hey it seems to like this place hey um don't you think this farm could use a good dog so you can say no I don't know why you would um so when you start up the game it asks you, it gives you an option of do you want to start with a cat or do you want to start with a dog i picked a dog and then there's three different options that you can pick from the one that i picked i feel is kind of like the silliest kind of looking dog he he kind of reminds me <laughs> it's funny because in one of the in one of the files that i was playing with a friend of mine we named the dog potato because it looks like a potato <laughs> he looks very silly and it's very cute but um i did I did put this in in the last video that I did modify the appearance of dogs. So this one is supposed to look like a Shiba Inu. So that's what I picked was a Shiba Inu and it's dark. It's like a dark brown color. It doesn't They didn't have an orange option, which is fine. But you know, they had a lot of variety in the mod and you just replace it over like whatever dog that you picked. Um, this same modder also has one for cats and then for farm animals and... For some of the animals that you see around town, like some of the birds and stuff too. So the the modder has done a lot of work. Their name is Ellie. Um, but yeah, they've done a lot of work. It's crazy. So here's one thing. <laughs> it's ridiculous. It, always a random name. The random name I feel like every time is always Snooch. Um, you get to name all your animals that you adopt. Or, I mean, you adopt the dog, honestly, but the other animals you buy, you buy them from Marnie. So, I mean, is it adoption or are you purchasing them? Do you own them? Um, but yeah, you get to pick a name. You can click the dice to keep changing it for random names. Um, but I kind of had an idea that I was going to name all the animals on my farm after friends of mine. I feel like... The only time that it's not really appropriate for me to name an animal after a friend is is this, is the cat or the dog. Um, just because, um, just because you, you always have, you always have the cat and the dog. Like, the cat and the dog is the main, it's connected to your story, it also connects to, um, it also connects to if you get um, a star drop, which we'll talk about those later. But like, and they're also, the pets are also used towards the perfection route. So I wanted to name the dog after a friend of mine, but I felt like if I did that, people, I mean, whoever, I mean, whoever watches this probably isn't going to care. But I was afraid that people might think, oh no, you know, like she doesn't like me as much. She didn't name me after the dog or like, why wasn't I named after the dog or that sort of thing. So I don't want anyone to feel bad. Um, so I'm actually going to name the dog after a version of my real life dog. Um, not the exact spelling, but after my real life dog. I think... 
Actually, no, let me do it. Yeah. So yeah, this is not the exact way that we spell my dog's name, but that's what I'm going to do. Well, Teddy, you should be a good pooch now, okay? You be a good pooch now. He's so big and cute. So yeah, I had a feeling that was going to happen. So the food bowl's already filled up. Teddy should be here somewhere. Should be here somewhere on the beach. But yeah, I didn't really want to name any of the like animals or anything off of like sources like my pets or whatever. But at the same time, I don't know. It just kind of felt right to do that for at least this one because Teddy's our pet. He's my best friend. Um, but yeah, I'm going to take this time to... Let me see. Oh, he's in here. Yay. Hee <laughs> hee. So this is the thing that I talked about. Um, it was a mod that I referenced before. Um, so you might have noticed Teddy had a little heart on his head when we came in here. And then it went away as soon as we um, interacted with him. So I have a mod on called... What is it? Better Ranching, I think is what it's called. Um, I talked about it a few episodes ago, but it's it basically tells you if you've petted your animal today, and if you haven't, they have, like, the little, like, empty heart there. And after you pet them, it goes away. And then, like, um, it also affects animals that can, like, give you things. So, like, for example, cows. Cows in this game can be milked. So it gives you a notification, like, hey, you can milk this animal today. And then um, with goats, they're milked like every other day. And just with sheep, they can be sheared. So it kind of says like, oh, hey, you know, the fur grew back on your sheep. You can now shear it. So that was just kind of a mod that I added if you wanted to add that. I, I feel like it's pretty helpful because sometimes I forget to um, check on my animals because I'm not very smart. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> okay, sorry about that. I, um, yeah, I'm gonna, that, that'll be cut out. But yeah, sorry. Uh, dear Farmer Sarah, you might need some more space someday. That's where I can help. If you bring me some raw materials and pay a fee, I can expand your house. The first expansion I offer includes a kitchen. With a kitchen, you'll be able to cook any recipes you've learned. Anyway, I hope you're starting to feel at home in Stardew Valley. Your local carpenter. All right, so I'm going to take some time to water our plants, and I will be right back. All right, so I cleared out our farm a little bit. You might have noticed that we had potatoes, so I picked them up. I put them in our storage chest, and now we're going to go back into town. I think today is Vincent's birthday. Um, so I have taken out a daffodil gold star to give to Vincent. I'm pretty sure his birthday is today. If it's not today, it's soon. Um, that's why I'm going to double check the calendar here and see. Yep, today is his birthday. I was right. Looking for a flounder and enjoy after a hard day's work. Well, we can try. I think our luck was okay. I can't even remember now. But yeah, I think our luck was okay. Vincent, come back. I have a birthday gift for you. Here you go. A birthday gift? That's very kind of you. I love it. I'm gonna look for bugs, but Mom gets mad when I get all dirty. It's a tough choice. So cute. Little Vincent is so cute. He's Sam's little brother. Oh, Olivia. Can I say hi? Wait, 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 please. Hi, sweetie. Happy Wednesday. Maybe if you're lucky, I'll give you a taste of some rare wine. Oh, that would be nice. I'd appreciate that. Oh, Alex is over here. Let's say hi. Sorry. I... Loud sounds going on. Anyways, <laughs> Alex is here. Let's talk to him really quick. Looks like a good day to play catch, huh? If you weren't a girl, I'd ask you to play catch. Wow. Um. You know, fuck it. Uh, never mind. <laughs> yeah, what is that supposed to mean? That is so. He is very. Alex is very weirdly sexist. I don't know why. He just is. Hi, hey, Victor. Uh, hi. Can I help you? Again, every time you talk to him in his house, he doesn't want to talk to you. Okay, fine. Yeah, normally I pick the different option um, when it comes to Alex. It is Wednesday, so we can't go into Pierre's shop. 
But uh, I don't care to be mean because we're not trying to date him, so he can go fuck himself. Anyway, sorry. <laughs> hey, sorry in advance if I say anything rude. I didn't get much sleep last night. What do you want? Oh, okay. Sorry. Oh, actually, I didn't want to do that. I just wanted to talk to you. Hey, what do you need? Guess that was it. Guess we're done talking. Just trying to be polite and have conversation. Nobody wants to talk to me. Not really. People will talk to you. They just... It just kind of depends on the situation at the time. Word of warning, my mother really hates undead fish. I think she might be allergic. Good to know. Jazz doesn't want to talk to us. Miss Penny says I have to read this book before I can go play. <laughs> um, let's see if maybe we can find uh, maybe Sam. Sam's down here. I think. Oh, actually, you know what? We need. We do need to buy um, some seeds. So let's go to. Oh God, let's go to Jojo Mart. Since Jojo Mart is open on Wednesdays. Let's see. Um. Oh, chocolate bar. That's new. Let's see. Let's get, um, no, because we got more parsnip seeds. Let's get potato seeds. Let's get three of those. Cauliflower, we should be fine because we just got nine of those before. I want to go home. I'm sick of working today. There's Shane over there stocking shelves. Let's talk to Morris. Pierce store is closed today. Might as well shop at Joja. Our products are far superior to anything he sells. So I guess that's just kind of like a standard thing that he says on Wednesdays. Um, I will admit to you guys, though, when this is all... Oh, Sam. Did you watch the game last night? Or wait, do you even have a TV set? I, I do, but no, I didn't. What did you say? It's 12.50 p.m. already. My goodness. I still have tons of work to do. <laughs> Times have been tough lately. I got laid off of my job as a bus driver. If I got that job back, I could drive you to Calico Desert. It's funny when you talk to them sometimes, like how Jody said, um, they read what, like, whatever the time is on the clock up here. And they'll, like, implement it into their dialogue. I thought that was kind of interesting. That is like a vanilla thing that can happen naturally, so it's kind of interesting when it does happen. Hello. There's nothing like a strong cup of tea in the morning is what he said. Sorry, we're probably gonna miss that dialogue. I saw the most beautiful family of butterflies sunning themselves in the town garden yesterday. Very cute. So I'm kind of interested in going to talk to... I don't think Maru's here. I think she's Harvey. Harvey's not even here. Neat. Um, I'm interested in talking to Maru and Sebastian, which they're all the way up here. Someone just entered a house or came out of one. Hey, Maru. On Tuesdays and Thursdays, I work at Harvey's clinic. He says he likes having me around in case his medical equipment goes haywire. Being a farmer must be pretty easy, huh? Wow, that's pretty rude. It's kind of inappropriate of you, Maru. Just saying. Hey, Robin. Hey there, Sarah. I was just daydreaming about some new carpentry projects. You're doing okay at your place? How's the woodwork in your cottage holding up? I wanted to... Hello? Probably growing a lot of interesting plants on your farm, huh? Maybe I'll stop by your place someday and check it out. Hey! Yeah, I had a feeling. Okay. Yeah, Sebastian does that where he's just he just stays in his room the whole time. Um, But you can... He usually leaves around like lunch dinner time 
So you should have an opportunity to talk to him then. Daffodil. I don't know you well enough to trust you. Sorry. That's okay, Linus. That's okay. Soon we will be friends. And it will be okay. You could build your friendship with him, though, and just kind of, like, give him stuff. Or build your friendship with him by giving him stuff. Um, thinking about what else I want to do. Um, well, I guess we could... Did we unlock that yet? We did. Scarecrow. Okay. Nice. So gonna do that so we need fiber coal and wood and then open this up we needed to do that for a quest and because it will keep crows off of your plants so it's just good to do that i'll put the potatoes potato down here put that away um no uh f is what i wanted sorry i hit j for journal it's f okay there we go i need to clean up more of this oh my god okay there's just so much crap going on <laughs> there's too much it's interesting when you play this game um like just to play it and then like between like I, or I should say, it's it's interesting between, like, playing it and recording it. Because recording it like this, or even just streaming it, you might do things differently than if you were just playing it on your own. Because you want um, to make sure that you're covering, like, certain things, I guess, when you're streaming versus just um, playing. So, yeah, we're not going to get to talk to Sebastian today, but that's fine. Is Andy here? No. Why didn't I just open my map? Because I'm an idiot. Sophia. Oh, so he's out in the. He's out there. And Sophia's outside her spot. So Andy's out here somewhere. There he is. Hey. Need to pick me up some food today. Question is do I look for forage in the forest or buy something at Georgia? I don't know, man. I don't know. Couldn't tell you. Couldn't tell you. Hey, Sophia. I'm hungry. Maybe I'll get a snack soon. She's cute. But yeah, talking to people also slowly builds up friendship with them. So you want to make sure that you talk to people when you can. Maybe we should do some ocean fishing. Hey, Willie. Some fish come and go with the seasons. Other Others only come out at night or in the rain. It's true. Yeah, let's do some fishing. Maybe we'll get lucky. Or maybe not. But let's hope we get lucky. <laughs> Plus, Marnie was asking for a fish, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, jeez. Hearing. I don't need that for anything. Mm, maybe I'll just, like... I don't know. I'm trying to think of, like, other stuff that I kind of wanted to talk about. Because I feel like I always have, like, all these... Like, different thoughts that, like, going through my head. That I'm like, oh yeah, I'm gonna talk about that today. And then I don't. <laughs> I just forget. Like, I don't know why. It's just a situation of dumb brain, I guess. Um, I mean, I guess maybe I could kind of pose the question of, um... What kind of what kind of farms and crops do people like the most? Oh, flounder. That's what they were looking for. Okay. No, it wasn't it wasn't Marnie, it was Jody, I think it was. 
Um, what kind of, but yeah, what kind of, um, when it comes to this game, what kind of farms and like vegetables and stuff do you like to grow? Um, on your farm. Yeah, it was Jody. Okay. Well, we can't, we can't now because Jody's house closes at eight, but, um, I would say for me, I probably like the forest farm the best. Um, just because you can find wild, um, forageables there. Um, so, like, sometimes you can get, like, mushrooms early. Excuse me. Sometimes you can get mushrooms early. Sometimes you can get, like, other things that you wouldn't expect. Um, it's pretty easy to get some, like, hardwood in that on a, um, on a farm like that. Anchovy. Uh, and then when it comes to, like, things growing, I feel like probably one of my favorite things to grow is, like, fairy rose. Which is a fl whoops. I was hitting F instead of C. Sad. Um, is fairy rose, which is a flower you can't grow until fall. And it's about what you'd expect. It's a rose type plant. Like it, it looks like a rose. Um, but it comes in like a variety of different colors. Most of the time, the ones that I get are blue. And I don't know if that's affected by like the farm that you have or what. Um, but the colors I get are usually blue. Sometimes I'll get like a pink one, but they're very, I feel like they're very pretty. Um, yeah, I mean, if you had an interest in looking those up before we get to fall, that's, uh, that's what they are. They're called fairy rose. Very pretty in my opinion. I'm surprised Willie didn't go to the, uh, saloon. He usually does. So let's just get this last bitch and then we'll go home. Hella butt. Let's go. Um, actually, are any of these? No, none of them are. Okay. So, I should probably I should probably explain what I was doing. So, um there's this thing the community center. It tells you um when uh when you have something in your inventory that can be used in here. So, for example, we already we have we have a clam which could be used in here, but we already put it in there, so it didn't like it didn't um affect it at all. Um Sorry, I'm thinking ocean fish. Yeah, I think most of these are summer fish. Actually, oh no, this is an anchovy, I was going to say. Sardine, I think, is spring or summer. Tuna is summer. Red snapper is summer. Raining. And tilapia, I think, is also summer. But yeah, I think most of these are summer fish. Um, lake fish. There's quite a few different ones for these. So there's the, the bass, the carp. Bullhead, I think, is also a summer fish. Or no, I think sturgeon might be. It's a it's a rainy fish, though. Like, you can only get it when it's raining. Um, so that'll be interesting to see when it happens. Oh, here's a cutscene that I might have mentioned before. I think I did. Er, sounds like those raccoons are back again, filthy varmints. Ah, you turned up at the right moment, miss. Could you do an old man a favor? Could you go around the corner and scare off those raccoons for me? They've been causing a real mess. Thanks. Make sure you give them a good scare so they never come back. It was me. I'm sorry. Find a lot of hot, fresh food in these in these cans. Stuff that will go to waste if I don't take it. Do 
Do you think there's something wrong with what I'm doing? Yes, it's disgusting. No, it's a shame for food to go to waste. Yes, it's illegal that George is private property. No, but you should get a job and stop leeching off others. So, you might have... You might have been able to pick up that all of these options suck, except for this one. This is the only one that isn't, like... Well, I shouldn't say suck, but they just... They're kind of rude. Like, this one... This one's honest. Um, like, it's truthful, but it's rude. Um, this one's very rude. This one is also kind of rude. I mean, I do agree in, in a way that, like... Yeah, when it comes to real life, if you saw someone digging in the trash, that is kind of gross. But other times, there are people who accidentally throw things away into the trash, and then they have to dig through the trash to get them out. So I don't think it's necessarily, like, I mean, as long as you're, like, washing your hands and stuff and keeping your hygiene up, it, I don't think it's that big of an issue. But this is the option that you want to pick, obviously. Thanks, Sarah. I knew you were an open-minded person. I feel good about what I'm doing. I'm not harming anyone. You can go home. I promise I won't rummage in George's can anymore. You can tell him you scared off the raccoons for good. So our character walks off and uh, Linus digs through the saloon trash can. Wait. I know what you were doing, Linus. If you need food, just ask. I don't want anyone in Pelican Town to go hungry. Here, I've got a basket of zucchini fritters for you. Just make sure you dip them in my spicy marinara. Go on, take it. So, one of the things that they don't show, which I find kind of interesting, is... um. I think Linus actually in that scene is a little bit disappointed to be offered that. Um, just because like in the original, like in vanilla, they didn't show it here for some reason. In vanilla, he has like a little sweat drop above his head. Like that's the emote that he uses. Um, so I don't know if like he took it up, uh, like took the charity from Gus or not. I don't, I really don't know. All right, so let's sell all of this stuff except the uh, flounder, because we need that. We can sell this, it's fine. But yeah, we need the flounder for Jody. Good night, good night, Tady. <sighs> Level two fishing, our fishing wand proficiency went up and now we know how to craft bait, neat. It's so cute. Cute little doggy. Welcome to Kozu 5, your number one source for weather, news, and entertainment. And now the weather forecast for tomorrow. It is going to be clear and sunny all day. Welcome to Wellwix Oracle, the only show where the voice of the spirits is channeled directly to you. The spirits are in good humor today. I think you'll have a little extra luck. Welcome to Living Off the Land. We're back again with another tip for y'all. Now listen up. Woe is from crows. Sounds like you need a scarecrow. Placing a scarecrow on your farm deters crows from a pretty good distance. Make sure you protect your valuable crops. One more thing. Need a bigger backpack to hold all your stuff? Check your local general store. Since it's raining, all of our stuff is being watered automatically. Hey. Me sell hats. Okay, Poke? Come to old, old, old house, Poke. Bring my, bring coinies. Hat mouse. Missing. I lost my favorite axe. If you find it, please return ASAP. I'm having a tough time without it. There's 250G in it to whoever finds the thing. It's Robin's last axe. Okay, ooh, we got some potatoes. Potato. Yeah, gold potato too. Nice. 
All right. Um, do we have any? They might be in here, actually, now I think about it. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, so I am going to take a few minutes and sweep up some of this area because I want to plant the rest of those cauliflower seeds in a way that I'm, like, able to see them. Um, so I will be right back. Okay, so I cleaned out some things on our, um, on our farm. I have crafted, crafted some field snacks, and I'm going to take this flounder over to Jody. But I think what we're going to do, since our luck is pretty okay, um, maybe we're going to go into the mines today. I feel like we should spend some time doing that. No. There you go. Oh, is that the flounder I requested? It looks perfect. Here's a little something for your trouble. Did you wipe your boots off before coming in? Sorry, I just cleaned the floor. Yeah, this is a weird one. So she says this when it's raining, but we're not in her house. So it's a little weird that sometimes that pops up. You're always welcome in here. Hehe. <laughs> like it. It's so weird the way that that happens. Because that happens in vanilla too. So it's just funny that she makes that comment about, Oh, you know, did you wipe your feet before coming into my house? But we're not in my house. So did you wipe your feet though? Like, okay. <sighs> Oh, I just realized you probably missed Sebastian in, but eh. That's okay. We got a lot of time to get to know people in our in our town, so that's okay. But yeah, I was thinking between either, you know, um foraging or not foraging, between mining or fishing, so decided let's uh let's just do some let's just do some mining oh yeah that's right okay duh i mean we haven't even been in the mines yet before so um you never know m what might happen so basically your objective in the mines here um is to find the next way down like you basically just want to keep going deeper and deeper into the mines to get stuff do keep an eye on your energy and your health though um because they do get depleted your energy gets depleted every time you use your pickaxe so be careful of that um and then your health gets depleted whenever you get hit by an enemy um i do want to go to the next level but let's see what's here really quick before going down and I don't want to use too much of my energy as possible okay yep we'll go down to the next level now because sometimes you'll have little guys like this oh nice he gave us uh, the next way down very friendly of him by the way swinging your sword to protect yourself or swinging your weapon in general does not use any energy um i think they did that because they didn't want people to be in a situation where they were like fighting enemies and then could die so yeah it doesn't cost any energy to swing your weapons just so you know however it does cost energy to use your pickaxe so just be careful of that so just eating some of the things here so that we can keep our energy up. Whoops. So these little stones, like these grayish ones, um, take two hits. You might have not noticed. If you did, then sorry, I just repeated it for you. And you can see up at the top left, we are on level four. So that gives you an indication of where we are right now. Get out of here, sir. Oh, those were the rock crabs I was talking about before. So. Nope, didn't drop anything. Dang. 
So yeah, I mentioned in an earlier episode, rock crab sometimes will drop crab, which we need for the um, crab pot bundle. Every time you go down five levels in the mines, uh, it unlocks um, a passageway in the elevator so that you can go down. And it also keeps that spot. So like, for example, since we're here in level five of the mines, if I decided, oh, I don't want to be here anymore, I want to go back up to the surface, I can do that using the elevator, and then I can still just come back down here to level five if I wanted to. Um, it only saves on levels of five. Um, it does not work for, like, if we go down to the next level to six, it will not work there. See, there's no elevator now. So it's only for every five levels. And it doesn't save your, like, your progress either when you use it. So it's not like... And what I mean by that is we're on level six here. If I am to climb up the ladder now and then try and use the elevator later, it won't let us go down to level six. It will only let us go down to level five. So it's it follows that kind of, like, basic principle. We're getting a lot of quartz, which is good. We need earth crystals, too. Energy's running low. But yeah, I try to save those gray rocks for last. Because, like I said, they take multiple hits. Um, if you have the basic pickaxe. If you have an upgraded one, then they only take one hit. But it also just kind of depends on what level you're on, too. So for these levels, a basic pickaxe will be fine. Um, you may want to actually upgrade it to a copper one because that will help with your mining level, efficiency level. Um, there we go. Oh, more valuable than sap right now. So, I wanted that. There we go. We find a special rock. I'll point it out. But, um, I don't think we will. Just because it's, it's very unlikely on the earlier levels that you find really good stuff. It depends, though. Sometimes you can. down here it's really nice very calming not hectic at all um but then again that depends on the level you're in and the situation you're in um when we get to some of the lower levels the music might get a little bit more dramatic or more hectic just depends on where we are way you can break those with um with a weapon instead if you want it's up to you but using the sword doesn't cost any energy so why would you not use the sword you know By the way, you do need algae for um, certain things, but I'm just kind of using it because one, we don't really need it right now, and two, um, it's better used for energy in a situation like this because, again, we don't need it right now, so I think it's okay if we do that. There we go, and we should get to level 10 now. 
All right, every 10 levels you get a reward of some kind. Oh, I forgot about that. Duh. Um, so you do want to make sure that you're going um, through and picking up everything that you can. Um, let's just eat these. It'll be fine. We need the energy and the health anyways, so it's okay. I don't have any room. received a femur oh it's a club an old heavy bone caked in centuries of grime 6 to 11 damage plus 2 speed um that is better than our rusty sword that actually might be more helpful by the way the sword not worth much you can sell it in the adventurers guild it's not worth much though I'm just letting you know that now See if we can get a little bit further. If not, that's okay. Can't believe we're just swinging someone's old femur bone. A little weird. <laughs> so get that, and get that, and get that. This pathway, also, there's coal at the end, and there's always a ladder at the end, too. So that's why I'm going all the way down here. Nice, no enemies either. So yeah, let's pick up this coal, because coal is very important. So do that. Do that. Alright, let's go back out and leave. Oh, hi. I don't think I've ever seen Marlin in here. A little weird. My sword's really taking a beating. Clint will need to take a look at it soon. He's skilled in his craft. Oh. I forgot. Clu so, every weapon has a special attack with it. Um, clubs do that. They have, like, a, it's like a heavy hit. Every pound hit like that. Um, swords usually are a guard. Uh, daggers are a quick, like, a very quick, um stab like they it's several stabs in sequence uh very quick but i feel like um daggers are also very slow well not slow per se but they don't do a lot of damage so it can be hard to get used to using a dagger um cuz like i said they don't do that much damage but their crit rate is usually pretty insane it's pretty high so like if you can get it to crit you're in good. <laughs> so that's like a good thing to do. Um, Alright. Um, so I'll explain it next time. But you might have noticed something really quick on the farm as we were coming back. But like I said, I'll explain it next time. Anyways, thanks for watching. I hope to see you again in the future. Thanks for stopping by. Bye.